Hello everyone. So I'm taking a little bit of a break from cartoons and games today. Because uh, I know I'm not a very big channel, but I've already had some people talk about how they like my thought process. Um, while I'm not trying to brag, I think it is good to kind of have this be one of my first videos to explain things and also just already be there well, if pe when people want it. So today I want to explain how I think through my videos and theorize on things and if I have the time I might talk about a few other things regarding theorizing so first thing I do is I carefully inspect and review the source material that I want to theorize on this can be watching it three four five times or it can just be watching it a couple times but making different annotations and stuff on it or watching other people's reviews and opinions on it just to get a very good idea of what I'm going to theorize on and also get ideas. So when I get out ideas, I ask a question. I always ask in the form of a direct question. I mean, that's just how I think. I just find it hard to come up with or study information unless I'm doing stuff in the form of questions. Those questions can be in the format of why is this here or what does this do? Is there some parallels between this and that? Who was this? Who was related to who? Things like that. And after that, I search for not just one or two small pieces, but I search for multiple evidences. It's going to be objects, things, things by, said by characters. Uh, things based on taking certain symbols or objects from the thing and comparing it to ancient symbols or hit things in history like symbolism this can be from their expressions or other small hints and you got to present the evidence or I present the evidence in a way that makes sense or at least makes sense to me and states the re reasons why it's there so every time I present a piece of evidence I always state exactly why it's there and if it's not that big of a piece of evidence I always admit it not only that it's also important to state alternate views or theories so that was pretty short so I got enough time to talk about why we do stuff like this so first of all, I'm just going to say, I mean, it does help bring a new perspective on the artist's work and a new way to view the work. I mean, think about it. People spent ages studying the works of the greats, Michelangelo's, and stuff. So I don't see why we shouldn't do the same thing with stuff we like if it's something we enjoy, you know. Plus, it's just fun. Now, as to why people believe, like, big conspiracy theories and stuff is something I still don't really know. But, I guess that wraps it up for the day. And, I will hopefully get some more videos out next week. I don't really know what I want to do. I'm thinking Milo Murphy's Law videos for new, vi for new episodes are out or a review of the special but I guess I'll just wait and see and so I'll see you later.